the old man that you guys, 81 million of you guys supposedly voted for to become a uh, president. Uh, and uh, yeah, we can talk about his dementia and other things that he may have going on. But I want to talk about this real quick. It's going to be um, discovered by the Washington Examiner. And it's going through uh, this potential global gun registry thing. Not to say that it's going to happen, but I do want to cover it. The Biden administration is weak, as written by Paul, uh, uh, Paul Bedard. Said the Biden administration this week uh, signaled that it is eyeing a United States, a United States, United Nations small arms treaty that critics claim will lead to an international gun registry plan or registration plan. Which, of course, includes individual American gun owners. Two years after former President Donald Trump withdrew from it, a top arms diplomat at the State Department told Global Body, told the Global Body that the current administration is swinging behind uh, the arms trade treaty. I have come from Washington, D.C. this week to take the floor uh, uh, on an agenda item treaty universalization to underscore the con- continuing commitment of the United States uh, to responsible international trade in conventional arms. The United States has long supported strong and effective national controls on the international transfer of conventional arms, and the Arms Trade Treaty is an important tool uh, for promoting those controls internationally. Interesting. So, the NRA, they're saying, which, I mean, that's a hack organization as well, says among many moves, the treaty will require all arms that Americans buy from overseas makers to be tracked, which that is more than likely going to, that's what they're going to attempt to do. We actually are seeing uh, some of those issues uh, with ammo in, uh, um, in like, uh, other, other spots. Russia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it says that a, a global gun registry would be created and maintained for 10 years. Every owner will be listed on that registry. This is the first step towards creating a global firearm registry. And that's what the NRA is claiming that is going to happen. Um, President Biden wants to give foreign bureaucrats control over the rights of law abiding Americans and the NRA will fight it every step of the way. (laughs) Sure you will. Sure it will. The new cap policy will better frame the intent and priorities of Biden Harris administration and will formalize the approach of the administration as adopted on arms transfer decisions. Uh, that have been effective or been in effect since P- President Biden entered the White House in January. So basically what's happening here is that when you talk about like the trade of conventional arms between countries, right? The idea is that any event that any event that Biden admin- in administration um, wants to get back kind of involved with the uh, sort of treaty that is with the uh, U.N., then that could potentially lead to the registration of obviously these conventional arms. And obviously that's going to come with, uh, with excessive problems in the event that individual American gun owners want to purchase them. Okay. So obviously that's something to keep an eye on. Um, definitely considering all this crazy stuff that's going on with like, even with the passports, with the COVIDs and all this stuff that uh, it's really egregious, but they're being allowed to get away with it. So don't be surprised if the next step you already have the CDC, for example, talking about gun violence, which has none of, like that has fucking nothing to do with their organization uh, or uh, or like a uh, agency rather. And yet they're talking about gun violence. Gun registries for sure could uh, could be something that's on the horizon. So it's worth keeping an eye on. But it's also yet another lesson in you never give these guys any sort of inch with that. And I know a lot of uh, gun shy, scared of guns, leftists love this sort of idea. They would love something like this because it's it seemingly punishes people for not committing any crimes. Why does the government or anybody need to sort of know what guns I have and, wh- and why I have them, where I have them, where they're located? Um, it's obviously a recipe for a disaster that we want absolutely no part of. But if they can't ban it all together, registries are as something it's not just started today. This is something that a lot of uh, anti-gun advocates 
have pushed for um, and been uh, unsuccessful in most pockets of the United States. Um, thankfully, in a lot of places, we're moving in the other direction where they call it constitution to carry, um, where you don't need to basically have a permit in order to conceal, uh, to be able to carry a weapon, which is, of course, how it should be. Um, but unfortunately, it is not in a lot of areas. Gun looks like the invasion uh, of gun rights, if you, that's what you want to call them. The right to own a weapon is more so the, the proper proper right there. Um, looks like they're trying to impede upon that and don't think that it's going to go away. In fact, don't be surprised if they use some of the emergency powers that came with what they were able to pull off with the COVIDs. Be something that they utilize for setting the scene up going into the future. Maybe it's not just m mere gun registries, but there's some sort of um, suppressing um, of said right. Don't be surprised if a lot of these, not just the federal government, but even some of these state and local governments attempt to to exercise uh, those rights that supposedly uh, they, they're not rights, by the way, but they these powers that they have to be able to just with just sweeping, le not even legislation, just some county judge signing some shit, basically saying that you must do this. So be on the lookout for that. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.